This is our beginner yoga session number seven. And if you've been following along, you know that we are learning one pose at a time and learning how to combine them together into what is called a pose flow. So today I'm going to show you how to combine the triangle pose, which you learned in session six, with the warrior poses, which are wonderful transition poses between a lot of the different poses that you've already learned. Uh, but before we start, I wanted to share something with you. I have something that I've had in my yoga studio for years and it's called the yoga deck. And it's a deck of 50 cards and each one has a different yoga pose on it. Um, for instance, here's the one for triangle pose. Hopefully you can see this. Um, and on the back, it tells you all about the pose. It tells you about the pose, how to go into the pose, and then it tells you the benefits of the pose. Uh, for instance, triangle pose improves your flexibility, strengthens you, elongates the spine, opens the hip area, and increases your stamina and endurance. So I thought these might be very helpful for you. They've been very helpful to me. And yes, I did put them in my Amazon store. They are actually on my holiday gift guide. Um, so if you know a yoga enthusiast, it would be a great gift. But really, I've had them in my studio for years, and I just thought they might come in very handy for you. Um, so today we're going to incorporate triangle pose with warrior poses. So first let me demonstrate the warrior poses for you. There are two warrior poses I want to show you, warrior one and warrior two. So warrior one, you're going to spread your legs to the point that you can get this part of your leg parallel with the floor. So about like that. You'll be facing your leg, reaching up into the sky, arching your back, and settling into the pose. Strengthening, balancing, endurance, all in one pose. Then you come up and you go right into your warrior two. In warrior two, there's another pose that does a lot of the same things that warrior one does. So then you come up and you do it on the other side. So facing this way for warrior one, Want to get your legs wide enough that you can get your leg parallel to the floor without putting your knee any further over than your ankle. You don't want your knee to go past your ankle. So you're facing this way for warrior one. Stretching, balancing, and going into warrior two. And coming up. Now from here, it's a perfect transition to be able to go into triangle pose. So let me show you that flow. It would be warrior one. Warrior two. Straighten the leg and come down into triangle pose. Stretching your arms, fingertips to the ceiling and fingertips to the floor. And then up, and the same thing on the other side. Warrior one. Warrior two. And into triangle. Stretching, elongating the side of your waist. And back up. So you can see how easily you can go from the warrior poses into the triangle pose. And of course you could use them in between any of the poses that we've already learned. So I want to thank you for following me and I hope you've learned something today that'll be of interest to you to use in your flows. And I hope you'll come back soon for our session number eight in the yoga series. But before I do session number eight, I am going to do a session on my arm work. I've had so many of you asking about the definition of my arms that I want to share that with you. So I have some arm exercises that I have been doing every other day for probably the last 20 years. They're easy. Anybody can do them. You can start with whatever weight is appropriate for you. So I hope you'll tune in to see that, which I will post very soon. 
And as always, I would love to hear from you, hear your comments, and thanks for following me.